Welcome to Live a Better Life Tarot Channel. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Your donations are welcome and appreciated. If you are new to my channel, please watch the featured video. It should shed some light on the way I do, my readings and my approach overall. The reading you are about to watch cannot and will not resonate with everybody. However, if it does, I hope it helps you live a better life one way or the other. Let's begin. Hi Leo, this is your monthly June 2020 tarot reading. Let's talk about your current job or your current business situation first. Uh, we've got the Knight of Cups, we have the Seven of Swords clarified by the Ace of Swords, and we have the Six of Wands. Um, I think you are going to um, uncover some kind of a deception or some kind of a lie, or somebody could be trying to um, pretend to be someone they're not. Basically someone is going to make you an offer, a very emotional offer, an offer that will be very attractive, but I think you'll be able to see right through it. You'll be able to call their lie out, you'll call this person out and uh, thus avoid getting into some kind of a unpleasant for you situation. And uh, you're going to come out of this uh, victorious. That's what the uh, Six of Wands card suggests so um, be very careful uh, watch out for any very emotional and very attractive offers if something looks too good to be true it most likely is Leo if you're looking to start a new job or a new business adventure in June this part is for you we've got the moon the knight of swords the ace of wands and the ten of wands on the bottom of the deck you could be dealing with a Pisces or an air sign, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius. I think the moon card is your current uh, state of mind. You're kind of depressed, you're kind of down, you're not sure about the future. But this will quickly turn around in June. We have the Knight of Swords. This is either an air sign coming towards you with some kind of an offer. Or this is just some kind of news or something coming your way, something really quick, really swiftly is uh, going to get you involved. It could be you assuming the energy of the Knight of Swords and starting to uh, move forward. Uh, we also have the Ace of Wands. This is a passionate new beginning. Uh, could be a new beginning at work. So if you are looking for a new job, uh, I have some good news. You probably will start a new job in June or if you are looking to start a new business adventure this is it as well you could be venturing out start trying something new but uh, be prepared this is going to be a lot of burden for you it's not going to be a walk in the park the ten of wands on the bottom of the deck suggests that you're going to be really busy you'll be carrying all those wands but uh, I think it's going to be all worth it in the long run uh, you will get rewarded eventually but the uh, beginning is going to be hard 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 work lots of work but uh, most likely you will like what you do because uh, the ace of wands usually represents something that we want we desire we are trying to achieve so get prepared and uh, get moving Leo, if you are in an established love relationship such as marriage or a long-term partnership, this spread is for you. We've got the King of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles, the Devil clarified by the Two of Cups, and the Fool on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, or a Capricorn. So I think this spread is for uh, single Leos. Um, Somebody's got their eye on you. See how the King of Cups is looking at the Nine of Pentacles? The Nine of Pentacles in this uh, spread is most likely you. You look very attractive, very independent, some very desirable. And this King of Cups is ready to uh, swoop you in. It could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, but most likely this is just uh, uh, the person, the future love um, suitor for you. Um, you could be dealing with uh, a Capricorn. The Devil card is the Capricorn's personal card, but since it's clarified by the Tea of Cups, I think 
they will be uh, successful at uh, <laughs> pulling you in right you will feel like you have you feel like this unnatural pull towards this person and eventually this will turn into a soulmate potentially unconditional love so the reason why you're feeling like like you belong with this person is uh, because this person is your soulmate that's what I'm feeling and uh, you are taking a leap of faith with this person that's what the full card is here um, symbolizing you are starting something new with this person a relationship and most likely you'll hit the ground running because this spread is about an established love relationship after all so uh, there will not be too much hesitation I think the two of you will uh, really enjoy spending the time together and uh, you are starting this new journey together Leo if you are on the quest for new love this month this spread is for you we've got the Sun the two of swords the eight of cups clarified by the king of swords you could be dealing with an air sign Gemini Libra or Aquarius I'm getting kind of a sad vibe uh, out of this reading I think you really like someone you are ready to be happy together with this person and uh, you want to offer your love your warmth your happiness to this person but unfortunately this person is not very uh, receptive they are walking away from you they are closed off so unfortunately um, if um, you decide to extend your love most likely to um, this king of swords and air sign they are not going to be uh, really open to your offer but the good news is that I don't see any heartbreak cards I don't see any uh, cards of you feeling kind of really sad so you will probably um, be a little on the downside for a little while but then you'll be like hmm, whatever it's their loss and uh, you're moving on I'm not saying that uh, this will be the only <laughs> incident um, love incident in June so if you decide to go for somebody else or if you receive another offer new love offer then go for it because you know life goes on don't just don't sit around don't wait for it to get better over a long period of time just move on you know there is more people out there who will definitely uh, be much better suited for you uh, let's talk about an ex uh, Leo keep in mind it could be somebody from a couple of months ago half a year ago or maybe two years ago we've got the king of swords we have the nine of swords the, clarified by the knight of cups and we have strength you could be dealing with an air sign Gemini Libra Aquarius or water sign Cancer Pisces or Scorpio or you could be dealing with another Leo but what I think is going on here is um, we've got this king of swords here again this is a repeat card from the uh, new love uh, spread I did for you a few seconds ago um, so yeah this is someone you've dealt with before and uh, see how the uh, knight uh, cards came out we've got the king of swords in the beginning and then we have the nine of swords clarified by the knight of cups so the roles could be vice versa um, I could have been not exactly right in the previous spread so it could be that the king of swords wants to reach out to you and they're really stressed out about you uh, accepting them back but I'm still feeling that this is most likely you perhaps we're talking about two different kings of swords um, so if you are really stressed out about um, trying to reconcile with this uh, king of swords who is most likely an air sign I think you should still go for it you know you will not know until you try it see uh, we do have the knight of cups the knight of cups is all about uh, very pure emotional love so um, even if you're not sure even if you're stressed out still give this uh, person another shot even if uh, it's you who is trying to get back into their good graces um, give it a shot like I said see what happens 
Leo, let's talk about an advice or a word of wisdom for you for the month of June. Uh, we've got the Hierophant, we've got the uh, Four of Cups, clarified by the Knight of Cups. We have the Six of Cups and the Six of Wands. Lots of Cups cards. Um, I think the advice here is if you are dealing with a Taurus, specifically, uh, the Hierophant is uh, the personal card of a Taurus. And uh, if there was some kind of a fallout or false start with that person in the past, they are going to try again. They're going to make you another offer and I think the uh, suggestion here is for you to accept it this time around. Right? Uh, the six of ones in this spread is the outcome. I specifically asked for an outcome card and the six of ones came out. The six of ones is all about victory. This card is uh, back in the day it was called the proposal card. So if you're not dealing with a Taurus, uh, the Hierophant could uh, potentially mean or lead to something traditional like marriage or uh, commitment. So if you, uh, somebody comes back around whom you have already were involved with, uh, but uh, if you rejected that person in the past, I think um, you should give them another try. Uh, because uh, this will prove that they're very serious about uh, being with you and getting serious with you. Keep in mind it could be the other way around. Uh, if you got rejected with someone in the past, give it another shot and uh, chances are you will be victorious. It could lead to something long term, it could lead to a higher level of commitment in the long run. And there you have it. This was your tarot reading for this time period. I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing and subscribing.